Welcome back to the roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and The Owl House has certainly been one of my favorite anime series to watch on a weekly basis since its premiere. Seriously, I get why Disney was hyping this series up. I'm having a blast, and in many aspects, it does give off the vibe that it's a spiritual successor to the likes of other Disney animated series, such as Gravity Falls, and even a little bit of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. But of course, it's that Gravity Falls connection people want to really hone in on. We all love Gravity Falls, and we know that it'll rock on forever in popularity. So of course when Gravity Falls alumni go on to make their own shows, fans are going to hold them to similar expectations. But obviously they could argue that the Owl House is a little bit closer to Gravity Falls than the rest. And for good reason. Both series have been able to reference one another, with Gravity Falls having it be a little bit more retroactive. Now I already broke down the Owl House easter eggs in the Gravity Falls graphic novel Lost Legends, but recently a new easter egg began to make its rounds that could confirm a very close relationship between two of the main characters of both series. In layman's terms, the Dilf of Gravity Falls could have wed the MILF of the Owl House. Stan's ex-wife, Marilyn, could actually be the Owl Lady herself, Edelyn. These two modern Disney icons could have once actually been lovers. So let's run through the evidence and speculate how this could once again lead into a potential future crossover way down the road that could even bring Gravity Falls back into the new decade. Of course, spoiler warning, if you do not want to know the Easter eggs that could lead to any potential crossovers down the road, click off now. With all that said, let's dive in. So the aforementioned Easter egg was brought to light by Instagram user in love of cartoons, whose profile definitely lives up to her name. The meat and potatoes is in her post, Eda the Owl Lady is Dan Pine's ex-wife, drawing attention to the commentary track of Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 18, The Lamb Before Swine, which features Stan Pine himself talking in character, giving a description of his ex-wife Marilyn, which states the following. I was actually married for less than a day. Vegas situation. We reached for the same slot machine handle and it was love at first sight. Marilyn had hair like airline stewardess and a neon pink shirt that said, over 30 and very flirty. Man, I was, I was putting in her hands. You should have seen the way she threw dice. One time right at my head. Turns out she was only married to distract me while she stole my car and all my winnings. I guess her name was fake and hair was fake. But you know, the love was real. She really was the one that got away. Like literally, it was a proper getaway. She was chased by cop cars for a mile out of Vegas before ducking out of a car and into a canyon and making off of all my loot. Sometimes I still think of her, that pale bingo hall skin, that one weirdly sharp tooth. Sorry, I'm getting nostalgic. Hmm, crazy hair, pale skin, one weirdly sharp tooth. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Stan Pops was talking about little old Edelin right here. The Instagram user also points out the Gravity Falls Lost Legends wanted poster for Ida, which we broke down in our video last year. But another detail she uses is concept art of Ida, with her wearing a shirt that reads 30 and flirty, which is similar to Stan's description of the pink shirt that says over 30 and very flirty. And while Ida has not worn that shirt in the show's canon, we have seen her equipped with a mug that reads 30 and flirty. So she could own an entire line of merchandise centered around this one one gimmicky statement, which, knowing Ida, wouldn't surprise me. The actions of Stan's married for less than a day ex-wife also very much reads as the work of Ida, marrying Stan as one big elaborate ploy in order to scam him out of his winnings, and apparently his car. Stan also suspects that her name was fake and that her hair was fake, so if anything, Ida could have gave Stan a fake name, but didn't bother to do anything to masquerade her hair. And of course Stan's gonna believe that's not real. Stan also remarks that she was chased by a cop before ducking out of a door and into a canyon, making off with all of the loot. We know Ida could have made such a grand escape as she has a magical unfolding door that serves as a gateway between the demon realm and the mortal realm, which is of course how she would have stumbled into the living world in the first place. Now it's important to note that the Gravity Falls box set released in summer of 2018. The commentary likely would have been recorded a few months beforehand. By this point, the Owl House would have already been put into production, and Alex Hirsch would have already been cast as King. Plus, it makes a little bit sense that he would be heavily involved in the creative process of his girlfriend's cartoon. 
So while Ida being Stan's ex-wife likely wasn't the plan from the very beginning of Gravity Falls, it does seem as if it's something they're improvising in now. So if ever if they want to pull that card and break it into an actual episode, we would have had foreshadowing years in advance, and I'm sure Disney would be more than down for a Gravity Falls crossover at some point in time, and I can already see how this would go down. The show's going to eventually hit a point that they're going to address that Lucy's summer camp is about to come to a close, and she has to figure out if she's going to go back to Earth or still stay in the Demon Realm. So at some point, the show will eventually bring us back to Earth, and I wouldn't be too surprised if it could become a recurring location. So even if this doesn't happen in Season 1, the door will open eventually. But even beyond that, we know Ida amasses the inventory for her stand by sending Albert into the mortal realm, stealing various objects for Ida. Perhaps an episode will come along where Ida gets tired of Albert's pools. They're not horrible, but she needs more money makers, so she assigns Luz to do her dirty work for her. If Ida just sets up a random portal on Earth, by coincidence, Luz would be assigned to shoplift from none other than the Mystery Shack. And after a few shenanigans and the audience having a few reunions of characters, Luz would eventually put two and two together that Stan and Ida were married for less than a day, but Stan is still recovering. Ida is still his ideal perfect match. And I mean, this in itself would be a fun premise for an episode, we can get some Ida development, maybe Sparks would actually fly between her and Stan, but by the end of the episode, they'd still decide to break it off anyways. But the more I speculate, the more I start going to other territory with the Outlaws and Gravity Falls, but I would love to explore even more of their crossover potential in another video. For now, let's take solace in the fact that these two characters are probably married. It's a retcon for sure, but what was said in this commentary track was a clear easter egg. I don't believe it was coincidence. Hers definitely implemented this gag, with the four side of fans coming back to this commentary track once the Owl House gets going and connecting all the dots for themselves. And if this blew your mind, definitely give props to In Love with Cartoons on Instagram for bringing this to the internet's attention, but also consider subscribing to this channel because there's definitely a lot of crossover potential within these Disney cartoons and cartoons in general that I am ready to dive in and explore. But as always, I want to know what you guys think. Do you want to see Stan and Ida have some sort of reunion? And in a Gravity Falls and Owl House crossover, over, who would you want to see? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Roundtable Vids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Ultra Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help that type of girl by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please draw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ultra Fox, signing out.